my name's crimson and welcome to my channel we're gonna dive in deep to have a nice good look at this aquaman figure so stay tuned till the very end because besides from some small minor things this aquaman is quite perfect First, let's take a look at the packaging. Here's a look at the packaging. Nice picture, a nice window box of Aquaman. And I believe the little guy's name is Quisp. Something like that. Aquaman DC Classic on the side with McFarlane Toys Digital right there. And on this side, it's just a side view of Aquaman. I'm back. We get some nice artwork of a non classic DC Classics Aquaman. But still pretty cool artwork on nonetheless. And on the bottom, there is a QR code just in case you need it. And also, it says Aquaman, Aquaman right here. But now that that's out of the way, let's get this thing out of the package and let's take a look at it. Here's the figure out of the packaging. Now, first thing first. Let's address the elf in the room. Here's a look at the creepy looking elf, also known as Quisp, or something like that. I don't know. But his head, the neck can go all the way around. The arms can go that far before they fall off. You see? And then the legs, a little bit of... Oh, wow. I've never seen something McFarlane related with some thigh swivel. That's kind of cool. But, no... This is just a creepy looking elf. So, let's throw this to the side. Okay, now let's get to the good part of the video where we actually look at the figure and not the creepy looking elf. So, let me pull him forward. Let's start with the head sculpt. So, you can kind of see the way hair is sculpted. The hair is kind of sculpted in a way to where it looks like it's in the water. It's like going everywhere and he's swimming. And you can kind of see there's some dark dry brushing on there which actually helps to bring out the detail i don't know how good you can see it yeah you can see the dark dry brushing on there to help bring out the detail the face sculpt i actually generally like the stoke one at least we'll talk about the smiley one later as you can see although these skin tones don't really match up all that well and then you can see the brighter orange scaling, which I'd actually do prefer for a classic looking Aquaman. You can see his gloves, the little fin thing, and the Aquaman logo on his shoulder. So with this figure, they use the Endless Winter torso, I believe, with the um flashpoint aquaman arms why did they do that i don't know why can't they just sculpt new arms because this is not a part of a classic looking aquaman this i'm just gonna pretend it's not there you can see a nice yellow belt um some people prefer black trunks i look at it as a in the comics they were green with black cell shading I see no point of why he would have black trunks. I think it just kind of throws the colors off. I think green all the way from the waist down looks better than just having black and then green legs, green pants. It just looks kind of odd. You can see the nice fins on the back. You can see the detailing right here with the indentation to kind of look like that. And the back, it's all the same. The nice worn scaling, dry brushing on his blonde hair to kind of look like he's swimming. Um, the, the figure diaper isn't too terribly bad. The greens match, which is actually kind of, yeah, the greens kind of match, which is actually kind of surprising. I mean, it's a little, looks a little weird. Looks like he does. I mean, it is a figure diaper, but 
you know you can, and then also on the scaling it's not all just bright orange it's shimmering on the camera so you can't really see it but it has a little bit of a sheen to it that kind of give it a sparkly kind of look so it's not all just straight orange scaled plastic as you can see it's all the way around and I actually really do like that I think it helps to bring out the details of the scales and in my opinion so far this is probably the best Aquaman that we've gotten if you're not a customizer then well if you're a customizer you can just take the flashpoint flash on max ed and the endless winter body and just pop it on that then you probably didn't need this but I didn't do that because that flash is hard to find but yeah. um, let's now take a look at the accessories He comes with a new McFarlane Toys digital stand, which is just like the one from the Green Lantern. He comes with a trading card with the same awkward, awkward artwork that's on the back of the box. And the nice read up right here. You can see his real name is Oren and Arthur Curry. And you can see the description right here. You can pause it to read it. And a picture of Aquaman right there. Aquaman and McFarlane Toys Digital right there. And he comes with the McFarlane Toys Digital scratch off code to get the digital NFT toy. Which I wasn't curious what it looked like, so I did it. So you might see the pictures pop up now. And that's for both of them, the Green Lantern and the Aquaman. Not my thing. I prefer to having physical figures, but if you like the digital toys, works for you. He comes with two pairs of like open like swimming hands. You can see the, if I can get it to show up, you can see that there are wrinkles in there to make it look like they're gloves on both of them. And you can see they're not like two, and I just dropped one. I'll find that later. But no, nothing spectacular. Now let me grab that other hand from the so that way the carpet monsters don't eat it. Ah, found it. He also comes with his favorite toy, favorite weapon, the King's Trident, within a nice, like dull yellow mustard kind of color plastic. It is a little bit of a flimsy plastic, so be careful with this. Don't bend it. But you can see it has a nice little spikes on the top. Also, I just want to point out, this looks nothing like the Trident in the picture. This is a classic Trident. This is a... I forgot what era of comics this is from. But you can see some nice ridges right there. It looks like a nice, like, roping kind of grip area. You can see on the bottom, there's a point of it with some more ridges and stuff i mean it's nothing special maybe a little more detail would have been nice but it is nice i do like the dollar kind of color to kind of go with the classic classic colors instead of a gold so yeah and then there's this serial killer held head sculpt if i'm allowed to say that on youtube but yeah you can fiddle, fiddle, focus on the eyes you know what, this thing is too creepy for the camera and doesn't want to focus, but it looks like the exact same other head sculpt, just with a creepy little grin on it. McFarlane can't nail smiles. Here he is with his swimming hands going for a swim. Here he is holding his trident. And here he is trying to give your kids candy so it can take him back to his secret underwater layer where you'll never find them again. And if I get canceled for that bit, Oh well, it was so worth it. Now let's take a look at his articulation. His head can look up that far, which is actually pretty good. And he can, he can actually look down quite a bit, which is kind of odd, considering the fact he's not going to be swimming like this. And just like all of the McFarlane figures, his head is on a dumbbell joint and can go all the way around. And, again, nice little head pivot. Nice little head swivel, I mean. He can raise his arm at about 90 degrees. He does have a bicep swivel. 
You can see some nice rotator cuff right there, but be careful. It might smear some of the paint and his arm can go all the way around. Double jointed elbows with a pretty deep, deep bend. And McFarlane wrists that can go up and down. All the way around. And horizontal bend too. He can bend back this far, which is really good for swimming, but be careful there's a little bit of gappage in the torso. And he can bend forward this far, which is actually pretty good for a McFarlane figure. And he has a nice little tilt at the waist. He also has a swivel at the thigh joint. He can lift his leg about 90 degrees to make it look like he's kicking that water fairy quisp. I know I would if you kept following me around. Also be a little bit careful not to warp the diaper piece. And he can do a perfect split. Double jointed knees with a decent bend, but the fin kind of gets in the way. Toe articulation and traditional McFarlane ankle balls that can hinge and pivot. Now let's see how he scales with other figures. Here he is with the other McFarlane Toys Digital Green Lantern. And I'm thinking about getting that Batman one too. And here he is with the oversized Hush Batman. I cannot wait for that black and gray Nightfall Batman to get here. It'll be here soon. And I can't wait to add it to my Justice League collection and move this guy out of it. Here he is with Vampire Robin. And here he is with everyone's favorite Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. Bro, why are you staring at me like that? I know I'm small, but I'm not a little kid. I don't want your candy. Yes, you do. Nope, I'm out of here. Oh man. I just wanted to play. When all is said and done, this Aquaman is my definitive Aquaman in my collection. Even if he does have the Aquaman logo on the shoulder from the Flashpoint Aquaman, that figure, terrible figure, don't recommend it. That's why I didn't get it. I didn't want it. I like the classic, brighter color scheme, the just straight yellow, kind of yellow, kind of dull yellow. Trident works perfectly with this. He will not be displayed with that creepy serial killer, I'm going to take your kid's head scope. He'll have the stoic head scope because it, it looks better and it fits better. It looks like Arthur Curry. I would have included wish he had came with some fists. That also would have been nice. Instead of Clisp or whatever his name is. That creepy water fairy. All jokes aside. Perfect Aquaman or as perfect it probably can be. This will be my definitive Aquaman. And the only Aquaman I get, unless I decide to get the JLA one, because I do like Hook Aquaman. But, I hope you stay till the very end. As always, folks, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my content with the world. And, as a, and my social media is in my bio. Make sure you join the Crimson Brood. And as always, folks, Toy Life Best, li best Life. Have an amazing day. Crimson out.